Hi guys, Dandelion. Hi guys, Dandelion Song here. In this video, I want to show you the decode of Marty McFly and what it has to do with the Bride of Christ numbers. We've been talking again and again and again about these Bride of Christ numbers and they keep popping up. And this movie, Back to the Future, seems to be about right now, yesterday, when you see this. But for me, it's still today, October 21st, 2015. Um, also, I want to show you how the creator of this movie, Robert Zemeckis, his name, which I wrote um, over here, also has these, it has, um, his name equals Bride of Christ, but with the the on it. So, um, Marty McFly has the Bride of Christ, this is the um, simple gematria, right here, English, just multiply it times six, so this is the Jewish gematria, so other... This is why I call this the Bride of Christ number, because uh, it does equal Bride of Christ. It also equals Valley of Death, which means Robert would equal the Bride of Christ, the Valley of Death, the Mother Mary, the Virgin Mary, the Columbus Day, the Stark Market, the Snow White, probably not the, the Will of God, maybe not that, um, the Great Awakening. Do you see these mirrors? It's almost like Marty McFly is playing Robert Zemeckis here. Um, right, the right hand of God, the heaven on earth, and the newspaper. So all of these equal 816. They all equal the Bride of Christ number. So we should probably try to keep in mind all of these things, especially, yeah, I don't know if you noticed, when the Pope was here, there were a lot of Bride of Christ numbers, and there was a heavy emphasis on Columbus Day. So Robert Zemeckis in the simple gematria is 169. This is the 169th day that I talk about a lot. Equals June 18th. 618 is the 169th day, and it does equal 6 and a 9. And this is phi 1.618, and this is backwards phi, counting down. Now... My, when I look at phi and pi, there is a, there's a lot of reason to think that the Illuminati are looking at these numbers in their long version, like if you printed this out for a page, talking about phi here and pi, if you printed these out for a page and then you counted them back. For example, uh, this movie, um, Back to the Future 2, was released on this date, November 20, November 11th, um, sorry, November 22nd. It has a lot of JFK stuff in it. It has, it even has, a, I have just a video about the Twin Pine Malls. It has the 1122 in the word mall, according to the Menorah Gematria, which is summarized here. But I also have a whole playlist on Menorah Gematria. Well, that is, this 1122 um, is far down in the, I'm talking about the long count and how they might be counting backwards on this. And if you look at my videos, uh, 4 and 20 blackbirds baked in a pie, those are about the long version of pie. And my emerging theory, it's just a growing theory about how they are counting backwards on pie and what is embedded in pie. Well, in the 100, the 111th, sorry, 1122nd pl digital place of pie are the numbers 816. And, oh, sorry, um, also, right near this spot, now I don't have it handy, I don't have my long count handy, right near this spot there's also a 63 and a 61 to show both um, JFK's death date and Obama's birthday, right there, in this long count of pi. So if they were counting back on phi, the last digits would be, or pi, last digits would be very important, and I really do think they are. Now, if we're counting back on phi, 1.618, um, I think after this it goes 0, 3, 3. Um, and then I can't remember right that there's a 9 and an 8 over here. Well, the interesting thing about phi is that a phi squared keeps the first 8 or 9 digits constant. And I think that is why we see words like Philadelphia that have two phi's in it. So I have a couple of videos about that. I'm trying to just understand 
what is important to these people and if we can understand what's important to these people we will be able to predict you know say a date comes up we will know what it ties to we will know what's important for example I haven't gotten to it yet I'm going to talk about Marty McFly and Robert Zemeckis in this video but I do want to get to save the clock tower because they talk about this so much and it has the one two three counting up number that comes up in the latest Oregon shooting and there might be more clues in here um, but this these numbers also came up a lot in the 266th episode of the Simpsons which had a lot to do with fire and severed body parts and one two three and three two one numbers lying to the police and some other things so I'll get to that in another video well so here I want to show you the breakdown of Marty McFly and my theory is that he is Marty McFly is actually Robert Zemeckis in the movie but because it's an MM I think it's also the of course the Georgia Guidestones 1313 Gateway MM which is also 44 or the 44th president so I'm not sure now in this movie the person who plays the president looks a lot like Donald Trump and I should look at his name too his character name while we're here on Robert Zemeckis I want to point out that the um, this is the this is the keys uh, the keystone of the Freemason Arch 69 right here this is their um, summer solstice you know a really big day so probably Mr. Zemeckis was not born with this name probably it was created for him or if he was born with this name his parents were Freemasons and they picked his name very carefully but his name with this 969 in the Jewish geometry the implication is that he is you know the big kahuna he's the the Bride of Christ, the Virgin Mary, he is the Awakened One, the Columbus Day, the Stock Market, he's the guy. And this also over here equals wedding, which is kind of the idea of the Bride of Christ. It's the marriage, see the 6-9 and the 9-6, it's the, everything fits together. And this also symbolizes the ability to travel from the higher dimensions down and then back up to the higher dimensions, which would mean not only do you have freedom, but almost like almost I think this number is supposed to encode a, benev a benevolent being I'm not saying he's benevolent maybe his parents picked this name or maybe he is benevolent I don't know um, the more I study this the more I think Robert Zemeckis either intuitively wrote in these clues or he actively knew about this and tried to warn us or or he was not benevolent and he just threw in some really difficult clues that we didn't have a chance of finding just so that he could think tell himself that he's a fair person right all of this okay well let's look at uh, the Marty McFly since we this is the main character here in the in the menorah gematria McFly equals 14 and this equals 16 and that together equals 30 which in this which in simple gematria um, stands out because 30 equals Alice Eagle and Bible in all three major gematrias um, also hail so these are all uh, pretty iconic words Alice is kind of like the the main character in the dream so like Marty McFly would be the Alice right he's he's deciding how the dream goes And then if anybody dies along the way, they'll be sacrificed to the eagle. That's why we have the eagle in there. All right. I don't know. I just get irritated with eagles because the Roman eagle, eagle equals 239. And 239 times, I believe, 3, I'm kind of going off of memory now, equals 717. That's the number of people who died in Mecca on 923. And that equals Roman eagle. And that's irritating for me. All right. Let's, uh, well, Marty. Okay, in the simple in the simple gematria where we just take the straight placement code of the alphabet, and I showed you the menorah gematria. That's what that's what I do on that. This is my menorah sign. 
so this goes to 32. In the last couple of videos, most recently that I put up about this, we talked about the temperature on this scale and what this means. And this would be a 45 or a 9, but when we add this together, we have a 77, which is uh, an important number of, of not only is it the way, and this is this would be the divergent sevens. You see the divergent seven on everything from the Philadelphia train wreck, which had the 601 on each corner of the train's head, to the Tiger Woods humiliation ceremony, where he has divergent sevens on his cap mixed in with his name, and the dates, all the dates that we've come to know. Well, divergent sevens is um, a sign of Isis. She's supposedly the embodiment of Venus and also symbolic of um, Mother Mary and the Virgin Mary because she was uh, she was parthenogenic and gave vir virgin birth the first one to do so of all of the pantheon of all these people or gods or symbols or concepts you know we're not sure exactly what they all are okay so over here McFly um, the breakdown is that this okay so um, just want to make sure I get all this right alright okay so this fly is 43 7 breaks down to a 7 but before you do that you add it to this add to the 16 and so that's a 59 um, this is a number for the slave Usually, it's um, it actually equals uh, Negro, and it's very a disrespectful number that the Illuminati put on um, Black Freemasons. So I I don't know if Black Freemasons know about this, but they're being coded, and it's very disrespectful. Okay, so then all of this adds up again to one thirty um, one thirty six, which times six is eight one six. It's interesting that this is a 1070 because uh, in the Facebook video about this subject that I'm going to put in the links, he has a concept, he has an idea in there about that Marty McFly touches film, which is the moment of awakening for, might be for Marty, but it, but when the viewer sees this, it's a, in a he, he um, theorizes that this is, causes the moment of awakening for the viewer where the viewer starts to question and that's what 9-11 was where the viewer starts to question so that's just his theory but I did run this and it ends up because he said it a few times and and he does show in the movie how before the time jump Marty symbolically touches he, he goes through a um, he touches film in a few different ways one is a a photo booth where the car drives through a photo booth and um, and I don't remember what the other one was but it, he I think he's right he could be right anyway it's a well thought out process so I um, gematry that and it, and it does happen to equal Marty McFly in the Jewish gematria um, did I write down all of the let's see now in the Jewish gematria I'm gonna to have to read it off the computer here. There isn't, there aren't the numbers so big that it doesn't match a lot of things. But one thing it does match that we should know about is Quetzalcoatl. And I just read about Quetzalcoatl again in a book last night, and I wanted to bring that to you because um, the text is taken from the um, the clay, the the uh, artwork, the ancient artwork. So I thought it was very interesting. I hope I remember. I'll try to bring that to you. Okay, so let's see, let's do Robert Zemeckis real quick. I don't think there was a lot hiding in his name, except for Robert, and I made a giant mess out of that, didn't I? Robert equals, so R-O is, um, gosh, is 33. Maybe I wrote it again over here. I can't even read that. Hold on. I'll okay, well, I wrote it again over here. It's it's interesting because Bert is um, a common number a common name, and it does have pi in it laying side by side just with the B and the E here twenty five. This is the master number thirty three, and then R T is an eleven, which is the gateway number. 
right? It's ma. Uh, all right, so, but if you just take this and you, you add it to 7, add that to 45, and then this whole thing adds to 70, 78. Then I think um, Zemeckis, the, I just did a video on um, the number 91. So that's why I wanted to bring this to you because it's such an interesting number 91 and I looked it up in the wiki and it went into depth. So that video is called the decode of the word uh, vendetta. But his name, um, oh, before I get to that, Robert, I wanted to show you before you, um, before you add this to make the third, the 78, you can see that this is a six and this is a nine. Okay, to show you that th this is like a master number a few ways. You see this? I just want to show you how like well crafted that is. Okay, so Zemeckis equals 91. So please see my other video about the number 91 and the decode of the word um, vendetta. Otherwise, I don't think I need to go into too much depth here. There, there, there is a little bit to see in there. But um, we'll get on to other things. All right. Um, that's going to be it for this video. Stay tuned. We're going to look at Save the Clock Tower. And um, I, th I think that probably, oh, oh yeah, Great Scott. We have to look at Great Scott. All right. Talk to you soon.